Hello, my name is Maria Stronik. I'm Professor Emerita at the Optical Research Center in Leon, Mexico. My group is dedicated at studying ways in which we can improve the health situation using optical techniques, as for example, in oximetry. Furthermore, we're interested in improving the devices that are used in energy and energy conversion, again, using optical techniques to optimize their, their efficiency. My long-term project is search for, for planets outside our solar system. I developed an instrument and it is currently under process of evaluation. I have been honored by three international societies uh, with the status of a fellow. I am most proud of being fellow of Sigma Xi, which has been awarded to me only this year. Furthermore, I am fellow of Optica and I am fellow of International Society for Optics and Photonics. This last organization has also awarded me the George W. Goddard Award for optical navigation. I performed this work in California, United States, working at uh, Caltech NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. My doctoral degree is from the University of Arizona. I also have three master's degrees in physics from Arizona State University, in optical sciences from University of Arizona, and from UCLA in engineering. I have er learned very interesting things when I studied engineering executive program at UCLA. We learned that people not only make decisions based on knowledge, science, and, and rational analysis, but also an emotional and cultural arguments that are often conditioned with uh, legal considerations. So we need to learn as, as uh, members of Sigma Xi to strengthen the arguments that we use and to adjust them to different levels of people with their education and their ability to accept the information so that our arguments can be accepted for all kinds of people. That is important because we often share our knowledge in different, uh, in different educational levels. I have also learned that people with different countries perform science and try to improve their situation using scientific and technological methods. They do that pr primarily to help themselves, especially in the third world countries, to help themselves with, uh, with the crop and also the health and, and similar considerations. But we as Sigma Xi, we are trained to collaborate, to teach and to implement ethical science. So we are in the best position to extend our hands to them and teach them how to use our knowledge in their environment and how to enhance their people skills to, to uh, learn our, our way of technology. I have functioned in three cultures. In Slovenia, I registered for the first year of physics at the University of Ljubljana, and I had the opportunity to study with four students from Congo. In Mexico, our students have learned because they performed very good quality work, publishing two refereed papers in uh, journals with impact factor that they get accepted all over the world, including at such prestigious university at the Harvard University. And so, our, so people are more or less the same all over the world. They're willing to do ethical research we just need to bring together those people who are interested in using science for betterment of the, of the humans. Sigma Xi promotes service, teaching and mentoring. We go to school, we teach children, and, and I certainly have learned that children are interested in science. Possibly they lose a little bit of that interest as they go through the school system, 
maybe they need more encouragement using better technology, better experiment, better equipment, possibly even better teachers. And so we, we, we need to work as a society to make STEM education one of our priorities. We want to be sure that our students are ready to confront the world in the 21st century. And that means to know science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In conclusion, if you decide to choose me as your president, I will take a sabbatical leave and I will dedicate my time and effort to represent you and our society in achieving the goals of our society becoming truly the best in the research enterprise, in promoting research enterprise for the purpose of improving the human condition. I propose to organize a conference in Cancun, Mexico. This city is basically centrally located for Americas, for Europe and for Australia, where our society has most members. And finally, I want to work very closely with the executive director of our society in order to make our society more lean and to be more responsive to our diverse membership. Last but not least, we hope to make our society financially strong so that it lasts another 150 years doing what it does the best, promoting science. With this, I thank you for your attention. I thank you for your confidence. And hopefully, I can thank you for your vote.